Hey you guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to perform a war drive using your Android device in an application called Gmon. For those of you who aren't familiar with what war driving is, it's basically the process of collecting Wi-Fi hotspot or access point data and then mapping it using your GPS. So that way later we can view our war drive in Google Earth and it will actually map out the access points according to our route and show the GPS coordinates of them. So the first thing you're going to want to do is navigate to the Google Play Store and search for an app called Gmon. I already have it installed. So once you've downloaded and installed it, you're going to want to make sure that your Wi-Fi and your GPS are enabled. And after that, you will open Gmon. And once you've opened Gmon, it's going to automatically begin the scan. So we're going to just drive around for a little bit. And then once we're finished with our war drive, we will open our KML file in Google Earth so we can actually view our war drive. And once we've completed our war drive and we're ready to export the file so we can view it in Google Earth, we'll choose the menu button on our Android device. And then we're going to select WLAN KML export. And you can see KML export started and now it's finished. And once you've done that, the best thing to do is to exit all the way out of Gmon. If you don't, it will continue scanning, so you need to select the menu button and then choose Exit. Now, once you've exited out of Gmon, sometimes it's a good idea to restart it and then re-export that file. It logs all of that data into the database file, so it's never lost. So I recommend reopening Gmon and exporting that file again. All right, now that we've exported our KML file, we need to plug our Android device into our system. And for me, because I'm a Mac user, it's going to automatically open up the Android file transfer application. And you will navigate to your internal storage and then select the folder named Gmon. And you will see a .kml file there. You want to go ahead and drag that onto your system to transfer it over. And there it is. And if you don't already have Google Earth installed, Make sure you go and download it right now and install it. And once you do have it installed, go ahead and just double click that file and it's going to open it in Google Earth. See here, it's going to put it under temporary places. So you're going to want to make sure you have that checked. And there you have it. All of those dots represent an access point that we logged during our scan. So I actually began the scan right here and you can also see that many of those are going to branch off because there were so many access points that there isn't actually enough room on the map to place all of them. So this one here, there's three open access points in that cluster. And if you kind of take a look, you'll see there are quite a few open access points. And that's how it's done. So if you want to view the information for an access point, go ahead and select one. And it will bring up the ESSID, the BSSID, and the encryption, the channel, and also the signal strength, and the date that it was added to your database. So the next time you want to use Gmon, it will continually build upon the database that you've already created. So essentially, if you wanted to war drive for the rest of your life, it would collect those access points and place them in the same database. And every time you export that file, it's going to grow. And it's going to get larger and larger and larger. So if you wanted to create a new one, you would simply go into the folder titled Gmon and you would delete these other files and it will recreate a new database file that would be blank. Now one other thing I want to show you is I'm going to close out Google Earth. You'll have a file called Gmon underscore WLAN dot text. Now that's going to be a plain text file. Go ahead and transfer that over to your system and open it up and it's actually going to have a list of all of those access points. So you can see there, that's how many access points total that we captured in that very short war drive. So, and again, if you were to retrace your route, you know, two or three times, then you're going to collect even more access points because I'm sure during our war drive, we weren't able to collect every single access point that was in range. It just kind of depends on the frequency of our scan and how fast we're traveling. So there you can see we've collected well over 100 access points. So that's how a war drive is done, and that's how you view the KML file. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial.